morning, Fluffy. What a way that you're sleeping. <laughs> Hello. How's my favorite Fluffy? Oh, Chewy, you look so rested and relaxed. Did you have a good night's sleep? Did you? Oh, so cute. <laughs> Well, what's up guys? Good morning, how are ye? I hope you're doing really well. I said I'd do a little bit of a vlog today. I just feel like chatting to you guys today, so that's what I'm gonna do. Just, I need to wash my hair. I can't believe my hair gets so greasy now because of the roots obviously been darker and it just gets really, really greasy. Like I only washed my hair, today is Monday. I washed my hair on Saturday night and it's already greasy. So I don't know, maybe I just need to wash it less frequently and then the oils won't build up as much because I've heard that happens. I don't know, I've never really had this problem because I've always had bleach blonde hair <laughs> that's been like crumbling off of the root and there was never an ounce of oils getting through. It was all really, really dry, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna wash it again tonight. I was last talking to y'all on St. Patrick's Day when I went for my lovely long walk and the next day I was like, oh, so like achy like just feeling like my belly like really tight and kind of like achy and stuff paddy and my mum and i went for another lovely walk yesterday my dad was doing my nanny's garden because she's coming home from the hospital tomorrow i think we're nearly certain nearly 100 percent fingers crossed either today or tomorrow she's gonna come home which was just so happy about. She's been in hospital on and off for the last like eight weeks, which obviously sucks, especially since my granddad passed away in the middle of it all. I also want to address a comment that I got the other day, which I don't, I know I don't need to address it, but I didn't write back to the person. I just instantly blocked them because I just felt so angry at the time. And I was like, there's no point in me venting and like literally getting angry with this person and writing back a whole big spiel. I just kind of want to let them know that their comment was just so shit the other day and like there was absolutely no need for it. It was on the video where I talked about my granddad's passing. Every single comment was lovely. Like I got like hundreds of comments on that video that were so kind and lovely but there was this one comment and it was just from some girl and she was like I can't believe you put that as the title of your video and you're pregnant and people will think that something terrible happened to your baby and you're disgusting and you're this like she called me the height of names she was so rude so aggressive towards me and to be honest i hadn't even it hadn't even crossed my mind that when i wrote that like heartbreaking update it was the actual title of the video that she was really annoyed with i hadn't even crossed my mind that it had something to do with the baby i was just so focused on my granddad and what had happened and him passing i hadn't even thought about the baby separately or how that video would come across so I know that person's blocked but it was mostly for her rudeness but also if anybody was watching that video and and they kind of thought the same thing as that person with the title i want to say sorry about that if i triggered you in some way really didn't think anything of it i just wanted to kind of alert you guys to what was happening in my personal life and it was heart it is heartbreaking like i lost one of the most amazing men in my whole entire life a role model to me like an absolutely a wonderful amazing human being like, like one of my favorite people in the whole world and I am still heartbroken and we're all heartbroken with my family over his passing so I, I it is heartbreaking I was not thinking about my baby and how that title might have come across so one I want to apologize if that did kind of trigger you or number two to that person who if they are still viewing like to know that they're blocked for their rudeness not because of them the comment in general it was just how rude and how awful they came across and they called me the most deplorable names like I would never call anybody of those names I just I just don't know where people do get off like instead of just saying the title of your video kind of alarmed me there's no need to absolutely and utterly tear me to shreds I do be bad enough as it is with hormones and feeling emotional on top of having lost a loved one without having to deal with listening to comments like that so I'm gonna do like a really quick little me putting makeup on my face and I'll list everything I use in the description bar it's gonna be so basic so simple I'm not really that bothered with crazy makeup I just don't want to look like this
all done i'm gonna go and pick up uh, Subway now. I was gonna pick up coffee. I'm just like no, I'm kind of getting a bit peckish. It's approaching lunch So I'm gonna pick up My usual turkey sub. Paddy wants a steak marinara sub. So I'm gonna go get them. He's on a call Actually, he might be done by now. So we might go together. I'll see if he's done. If he's not I'll just go myself. I'm wearing the world's most uncoordinated uncoord outfit today. I'm just wearing this t-shirt and then like this camo jacket are just the first thing that I found to wear. I'm wearing a jumpsuit and I've been wearing this since I got pregnant but there's a little glimpse of our 34 week bump. I'm really starting to expand aren't I? It's getting huge and it's really really heavy now. Yeah so we're uncoordinated today but sure who cares who's gonna be looking at us. So let's go get some food. Ooh I just got a package from NARS with some of these air matte blushes which i'm very excited about so there's like eight in the line they look really nice okay so there's the four shades they sent me uh gasp like i said which is a rose bronze torch which is described as a coral red we have this one here in freedom which is described as a mauve um i would describe that more of like a rose color and then the shade Hushed, which is a light nude, and obviously Hushed is going to be my favourite because that is just right up my alley for blushes. But I do really like this one here in Torch, and this kind of like pinky colour. They are really pretty, aren't they? So that's the shades that they come in. I'm going to give these a go now because summer is approaching and I do like a cream base. So I'm very excited to give these a try. They are £25 or €32. Euro. And it doesn't tell me when they're available, but I'm presuming that they're kind of out now. Okay, so I had a quick change of my runners because I just wasn't feeling the other ones that I was wearing. These ones are a lot more comfortable. Paddy's not coming with me because he is busy with work. My boss is taking a half day today. Her little boy is actually not well, so she's on a half day today. And I am just kind of like checking in on emails and stuff. There's nothing really strenuous, nothing really majorly exciting going on in work today. So I can kind of take it a bit easy. I start my maternity leave next week. Can you believe that? Like, so crazy. I'm actually super excited for it because I'll be what, 35 weeks? 36 weeks, 36 weeks when I go. So it's, yeah, a, a week and a bit, two weeks. And I um, I'll be 36 weeks the week that I take my maternity leave, which is lovely. So I have, I don't know what I have, like over six months to take on maternity leave. And then you can get extensions and whatever on a maternity leave depending on, you know, how you're feeling and whatnot. And I'm just kind of excited. I was initially kind of bummed and like oh I don't want to finish and I'm not ready to finish and now I'm just kind of like yeah you know what I am kind of getting ready to finish I'm more tired I mean I'm not sleeping great I will be welcoming my return to leave in the next two weeks I'm very excited for it I was just talking in my last vlog about like how I haven't like seen any of my friends or anything like that and Neve texting me today and she wants to meet up with me so we're gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna meet her and her little boy. Jenna just ran me when I was in the middle of something else. I have to ring her back to have a good chat with her over lunch. And then Damien texted me as well. I was like, it's so weird. It's like my friend just like signals out to the universe. I am really looking forward to the one I can actually reconnect with all of them and see them again because I haven't seen Jenna since January. Was it January, December? Yeah, December. I haven't seen Neve. I got to go for a walk with Neve. I did see Lisa in February, just before Valentine's Day. I think that was the last time I saw her. Damien, I don't even know when the last time I saw Damien. I feel like it was way before Christmas. Damien works as a front line. Like he's in, involved with people that have COVID daily. So he doesn't want to be anywhere near me. He's gotten his vaccine, I think now at this stage, but still he just doesn't want to be anywhere around me, which I totally understand because I'm pregnant and you know, just in case, and I'm not getting vaccinated for God knows how long, like probably next year at the rate that the vaccines are being dished out in Ireland. And then obviously I haven't seen Amy, her kids are off school and stuff. I just feel like you're so out of the loop with your friends and what's going on with them, even though they're all doing the same things as me, which is like get up, work from home, go to Subway, the whole highlight of the week. Um, 
doing those little small things. This is nothing really else to do. A new phone cover for my phone, which I'm really excited about. It's the same color as my watch, my wrist watch strap. I always stick with those silicone base ones, you know, the silicone phone covers, my favorite ones. I just like them, I like the feel of them as well. So I have like 10,000 different phone covers back in the day. Like loads of different ones, different types, different textures, glitter, 3D ones, all sorts. And now I'm just so basic, I'm like, give me the most basic phone cover that I can get. I got my subs! I'm so excited. Once a week, I treat myself to Subway. It's like my favorite thing ever. And I get the turkey, lettuce. No, I get turkey, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and pickles with set wet sauce. Like that was like my new favorite. I used to all, always order ranch, but they just continued ranch. And I used to always get peppers in it instead of pickles with the ranch sauce, but it's just not the same the peppers in it with the set sauce. I don't know, I'm very upset. And the last like couple of times I've gotten the tiger bread because it's just really nice. And obviously you probably heard the conspiracy, not, it's not a conspiracy, it's actually a fact, about the Subway subs, like the actual bread having more sugar in it. So they're not actually considered savory, they're considered sweet, which is ridiculous. There's so much sugar in the bread, but that's why it's like once a week treat. You don't need it every day. <laughs> it's not good for you every day. That is my new cover as well. I think it's really nice. It's like a nice pale pink. I just am after taking my screen protector off because I got new ones in the post. So I'm going to put them on when I get home. I'm excited for this foot long, although I know I probably won't finish it all. I'm just so excited. Yummy. None for you. Hey guys, so I'm out of the shower, as you can probably see. Actually, do you know what I meant to do? <sighs> Why is Paddy text me from the Yeah, sorry. Um Paddy's like text me from the other room. <laughs> I'm gonna dry my hair and we're gonna watch something on the laptop or on Netflix or something, just chill out for the night. I think we're gonna watch Working Moms. I finished the series and I love it so much, but I was watching an episode yesterday and Paddy was like so into it and he was like what's this I really like this it's funny so I think we're gonna watch that we watched The Nun last night well he's seen it before I've never seen it and it was actually really good I thought it'd be really shit kind of filler movie but it was actually kind of good if you're kind of a scary movie fanatic you'll watch it anyway if you really want a real scare it's not really that scary but I just really enjoyed it I love horror movies anyway I don't think I've actually watched one that left like such an impression on me as The Conjuring I just think it's so weird because it's kind of like true and ugh, after I watched it I just always used to feel weird after it anyway I'm gonna try this main and I'm gonna watch something on Netflix and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I love you all. Mwah. Night night.